it can be hard to tell if a relationship is just going through a rough patch or if things are really getting serious. When are things serious mm -hmm. enough that you need to start thinking about getting some help? This is a question from a viewer. Is it true that most couples wait six years after becoming really unhappy in their marriage to seek couples therapy? I'm getting married next year and really want to know when should a couple seek therapy? That's the topic of today's relationship reboot. So, of course, we brought in our gurus, Carol Brees and Kirsten Lynn Seal. I mean, all couples fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, there is that question of, okay, are ours more serious? Because you don't, you're not right. in other people's relationships. Sure. You don't know. Right. You don't know exactly. But I would say for our viewer today, uh, actually the time to go talk to a couple therapist would actually be right now. Before, <laughs> before getting married is a really great time to go talk to someone who is skilled with relationships so that you can check out some of the things that you might be worrying about, wondering if, you know, these sorts of fights, these seem really bad, or this, the, he hurts my feelings and I feel like he's not listening, and a variety of these things can really be helped starting out. So before you get married is a good so time. Before I know you get married, I, I had to go to a priest as part of like the right. pre-marriage right. kind oh, of sure. preparation. Right. Mm -hmm. And actually my wife and I found that extremely helpful yes. just going through the checklist of all these sure, things. Right. Like are we on the same page on these issues? Right. Absolutely. Right. It's, it's, it's great preparation. You know, marriage therapy and counseling can serve as education. So a lot of people out there think, oh, we're really, we're really, you know, in a terrible position right. if we're Our seeking therapy. But yeah, all, every couple should seek therapy or counseling yeah. along the way. There's still a tip that we got from that session. We've been married for 17 years, yep. mm -hmm. but it still comes up. Nice. Absolutely. Nice. I can't That's tell great. her how she feels. Uh, <laughs> oh, that great tip. That's, Very good tip. Ooh. Very good tip. <laughs> That's actually, yeah, one of the like, No, you really shouldn't be this upset. <laughs> really, <laughs> Uh, like it's yeah, not that big yeah, of a deal. This really isn't that big a deal. Yeah, right. it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, now great tip. Good I, job remembering 17 that. Remember years. It. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I still yeah. mess it up yeah. sometimes, but I do remember. <laughs> you do, you I do, do good, I do though. I, yeah. So, I mean, this is... Yeah, before you get married, that is a great time, but not all couples are going to do that, and not right, all couples right. have done that. Right. You, one of the times you mentioned is if those fights continue to get worse. Yes. How do you yeah. how do you measure that though? Right. Well, I mean, it's, it's a it's a mm -hmm. subjective measure. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, for one person, the fights, and actually, usually in the same marriage, it's different. Like one person can think, oh, this is just a fight, and brush it off, mm -hmm. and the other one and say it's not that big <laughs> yeah. a deal, and the other one can be <laughs> sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Our marriage is you know is doomed, and that's the place when one when one person, if you feel like your partner's the enemy or if you feel like you're really not on the same page and this is going on for months this might be a time to think about it instead of letting it go on for years by which time habits can really become ingrained when you stop speaking up Absolutely. So, and that happens in relationships. It does. Yeah. You know, the opposite of love is not hate, it's apathy. Yeah. And so when yeah. you start pulling back, when you stop engaging, when you start saying, you know what, arguing about this isn't worth it anymore, mm -hmm. you really need some intervention. Because, you, you know, one of the key findings is that it's not about how often couples fight, it's about how they fight yeah. that determines the success yeah. of their marriage. So you have to engage. All yeah. couples are going to engage in conflict. Right, right, one way or another. Mm -hmm. So one of the other things you listed is when you think that things will be fine only if he oh, or she... Oh, right? Yes. So you mm -hmm. have been That's always. Wrong. That's every couple thinks that always. This yes. is preposterous. How yes. are you supposed to know, like, oh, I'm not the problem. I'm not going to be like, let's go get right. couples right. therapy. Well, right, right. And in like, every relationship, <laughs> if you're going to be with yes. one another for the long yes. time, it's like, yes. well, yes. <laughs> if only you would change. And this is actually the big joke with couples therapists is that yep. there's really one problem that we only see, which is fix my you. spouse. <laughs> right? Hello, fix Hi. my spouse. We're here together, but right. really she's but the problem. But when you really feel that, yes. yeah. and and when you, you would yeah. know it. Yeah. Oh, and when you yeah. feel it uh, over the long haul, when you're just like, Every well, day. there's yeah. nothing wrong with me, right, right. but you know, if only you would change, and, we'd all be better. Right, and the research on positive and negative yeah. you know, thoughts about your partner is also really clear. When you're starting to have a lot of negative thoughts and yep. fewer positive thoughts, do you you know, it's one thing to be irritated and then be like, oh, but he's so great because sure. he does blah, 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 <laughs> right? Because he doesn't dismiss my feelings. For right, example. right. Yeah. What about uh, life transitions? You know, oh, you have absolutely. a child or yeah. Yeah. retirement. Yeah. That's so really important. During life transitions, we all are more stressed, even if they're mm -hmm. positive life transitions. Yeah. So, for yeah. instance, having a baby or yeah. you know adding a child to your family through adoption, incredibly stressful, yeah. beautiful time, but a lot of couples suffer yeah. from great distress. Right. And so during any life transitions, retirement, mm -hmm. new jobs, moves, right. um, especially if the way you're communicating about that with your spouse or your partner yeah. is not going well. Yeah. If they, when that becomes harder. So, because you look at a family, it's like a, it's like it's like it's like a, it's like a system. It's like goes together. And when something new comes in or something goes out, then that's when things change, and that's when some support can really be helpful. Well, you know, into that original question, do couples wait six years? Mm -hmm. 
They do. Yeah, One of the I, things yeah. we know is that couples wait way too long yeah. and are too unhappy for long periods of time before, before they go, they go and, and get yeah. some help. Yeah. Have you guys yeah. in your marriages done couples therapy? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yep. So well, and so we've done it before, yeah. right? Yeah. We did it before. We're married 24 years now. And just recently, I said to my husband, "We're super happy, long-term marriage." I said, "Let's go to counseling," and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there something you need to tell me? And I said, no, because yeah. it can always be even better. Mm. Good. Good I stuff. Like Carolyn Kirsten, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome.